Here we have a question. A tube is initially fully submerged in water. The axis of the tube is kept vertical as the tube is slowly raised out of the water. And here we can see it in a diagram. Here we have a loudspeaker. Uh, and uh, this loudspeaker is producing a sound of frequency 530 hertz. And it is positioned at the top open uh, end, right? So here we can see that it's open uh, of the tube as it is raised. The water surface inside the tube is always level with the water surface outside the tube. The speed of the sound in air column is also given. So we have the frequency and we have the speed of that sound. Uh, describe a simple way that a student without operating any additional equipment can detect whether a stationary, when a stationary wave is formed inside that air column, right? As the tube is being raised. So what would happen over here is that if this is a, 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 an end, closed end, there would be a node forming at this end. So it would look something, the, the wave would look something like this. Where at the top, it's an anti-node and at the end, it is a node, right? Now, this distance is, we know it's lambda over four. Now, how can he tell when a stationary wave is formed? A stationary, for a stationary wave, when a stationary wave would be formed, you would hear a loud noise because of this node. So a loud noise can be heard. And that's when you would know that a stationary wave is formed. Next, we have determine the height of the top end of the tube. So we want the height above the surface of the water when the stationary wave is first produced in the tube. Assume that an anti-node is formed level with the top of the tube. So we know that we want to find the height, right? So what is v? v is equal to f lambda. Now we know velocity of sound. We know the frequency that this speaker is producing. Remember the velocity of the sound is given as 340 meters per second and the frequency that it's producing is uh, is about 530 hertz, right? Now, from this, I can compute lambda. Lambda would be V over F, which is just 340 meters per second over 530 per second, right? Which is hertz. So this gives me the wavelength of about 0 0.642 meters. Now, if I have the wavelength, I know that the height of the top end of the tube of the water surface is, as we wrote over here, lambda over four. So the height h, or you can call it l, whatever, it's lambda over four. So this would be 0 0.642 over four meters, which is 0 0.161 meters. So the height is then 0 0.161 meters. Next part says determine the distance moved by the tube between positions at which first and second stationary waves are formed. So for the first, if I draw it over here, the, the, the diagram that we had, uh, if the water is over here and this is my speaker, like whatever device this is, let's call it, it's the speaker, we see something like this for the first stationary wave, where this is anti-node and this is a node. And we, we already saw that this distance uh, is for this uh, an, an anti-node and a node, it's lambda over four, the total height, right? If you have just one anti-node and one node. However, for a second wave to be formed, I'll draw it over here. We see that if this is the loudspeaker, the second stationary wave is formed. So the level remains the same. It, f it is formed something like this. Right? So these are the two nodes that we see. Here we have node, here we have a node, uh, and here we have anti-node, and here we have anti-node. Now, when we have uh, a pair of node and anti-node, which, which is two, two of them, it, the, the distance, the length, or the height is three lambda over four for a second stationary wave. So the required distance that we want to find uh, that is moved by the tube between the positions is the difference between these two heights, which is three lambda by four minus lambda by four, which is just, if you do the math, this gives you two lambda by four, which is just lambda over two. Lambda was 0 0.64 divided by two, which is 0 0.32 meters. So the distance moved is 0 0.32 meters.